and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing another AI build. We're going to see how fast and how well our AI can build, or specifically the Replit AI agent can build us a personal website and a sales funnel. This is really exciting for me. I, I've never uh, built a sales funnel in, with AI in a super um, fast fashion. So we're going to go, go ahead and get our agent ready. We're going to copy and paste this entire um, template. And that's it. We're going to start building. Uh, this whole project overview goes through everything. Our styles, our brand identity, um, our layout and structure, page templates. Um, so there's a there's a template, this app building template that you can use. Um, if you wait to the end of the video or check the description, you can see how to get it totally free. I forgot to press the <laughs> create app button and it will generate us this app in record time, faster than I could do it myself, that's for sure. So coming back to here, we've got our first prompt. Obviously we want to build the initial prototype. Uh, initial features, you know, a Calendly integration for bookings would be pretty cool. But because I'm going to do another application for that in another video, we're not going to do this. Uh, we'll do advanced analytics and lead uh, tracking. That would be cool. And I think that's the only thing we'll need. We don't really need to overcomplicate this. So we'll approve that and we'll get started into building this portfolio. <laughs> yeah waiting to generate. All right, so we've got our page, we've got our start. This is looking pretty cool. Um, I forgot to include my name, so for today I'm John. Uh, we can get a free consultation, we'll check that in a second. We've got our featured projects. It's quite a nice little layout, you know, with these cards. I like the color scheme, I actually love purple. Then we've got some pretty simple but nice um, card layouts. Um, now when you're building your your website and you see something like this and you want to change it, I would advise you to just go to Drupal, find, an, find a layout that you like and either get a description of it from AI or send that image to the um, to your AI agent and just use that for inspiration to, to get a really good example of what you want and 90% of the time uh, it's able to complete and that work. That is not me, I swear. Um, nothing wrong with him though. Uh, Bit of bit of a bio. We've got our technical skills. We've got some cool core values, experience. So this is nice. Like it's a simple layout, but it has a lot of potential. If you want to style it, uh, if you want to give the AI some specific direction, it's oh, perfect. So we've got our, um, I guess, our value proposition here. We've got our services, um, our processes. I really like this layout. This is super clean. Let's go to our portfolio. Nice. So we've got a nice list of all the different things we, we've got call to action at the bottom. This is really awesome. Uh, and let's see if the, the filters work. I love it. I love it. This is really good start. Resources. So nice, nice. We've got a, a sales funnel where we can you know, start getting some people to put their emails in, give us their details. You can uh, get something for free out of it. Um, love this. And then our contact. Perfect. So this is really nice. Now let's go back and let's just see what the home get a free consultation okay that doesn't go anywhere i'd i'd, I'd probably point that to uh, the get in touch page uh, but in a very short amount of time and in one prompt one single prompt we had generated a pretty decent website that you can then just customize however you want um, if you have a you know small additions that you want to make to the to the website um, and you're not super code savvy what i'll do is I would highlight parts of the page. You'll get a sort of index guide of each page and the copy you want, and then just write it out in a doc, copy and paste it, and you say replace this here with X, you know, whatever you've written out. Uh, you can say that to the AI agent. This has been one prompt, and we've gotten a uh, portfolio. And actually, if we view this project, I haven't gone to the individual project page. Let's see, does that just take us to the list? Example domain, okay, so it hasn't made us a portfolio page. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it one more prompt. We're gonna see what we can do in just two prompts and we'll see how much further we can take it. Right, so prompt number two. Two, not that way, don't wanna do that to the camera. That's just rude. 
so far it's cost us 25 cents. I'm broke now, that's unfortunate. Um, we've got a few prompts for it, to, or a few, uh, few items for it to get through. We're going to add a portfolio page. Um, so I should actually specify um, project and probably individual. You have to be quite specific with what you want. If you, if you say, I want a portfolio page, you know, that could be anything. Um, I've just also noticed right now, there's this little uh, red dot here with dev tools. That means there's an error on the page. You ever get an error like this? Uh, probably a bit easier to see on this. If I just do inspect element, we can see there's something going on without worrying too much about it. We can also just paste it. Well, that's gonna be ugly. Say, fix the following error. Paste that in, don't even worry about it. Okay? Don't even worry about it. I've asked it for it. Secondly, to give it a blog page and an individual blog page. So make sure when you're giving it these points, you're being pretty specific. Uh, specific, not specific. Thirdly, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but I just wanted to you know, throw a curveball out there. Uh, Give the website pages, I should say pages. That is not the right button. The pages are cool, load, animation. So when the page loads, we want something cool. I'm not sure what it's gonna come up with, but hey, let's find out. Well, there's an issue with the A anchor tag. Uh, so that's probably something to do with the reason our um, button doesn't take us anywhere when we click it. I think that'd be 90% of what the, the reason is. But, and same with that, so that might be why. But what we can do is we can go to the blog page which we've added, there's nothing here. That's pretty annoying. I was really hoping to get something um, going. So that's unfortunate. Let's go back to our resources. It seems as though, okay, that's kind of cool. So when we load this page, we get sort of a fade in and a pop-up feature. I like that, it's nice and smooth. That's quite nice. So, okay, so the loading animation has been pretty cool. Um, our feature projects so let's let's see if it built the featured project page it didn't that's annoying we're going to try that one more time and uh see if that worked right so the next attempt prompt number three i was only going to do two but because it didn't really do what i said uh we're going to give it another go so first there weren't any blogs showing we just maybe it could have made the outline for the page and it just didn't have any content there so that's Quite possible that happened so I just instructed it to uh, create some and then the individual project page wasn't navigating or, or uh, wasn't being navigated to when we clicked on our project that again you know the AI might have made that page and it just didn't uh, link that button to navigating to, to that page if there was something uh, preventing it already so in some cases it does build um, the pages you want will do the things you have to do but those little minor things you might just have to tr test out and connect the dots for it and it usually doesn't take too many prompts to, to fix those so fingers crossed uh, we can get that fixed you know when it's late at night or it's getting late and you're getting tired and making a video smelling these things from Thailand which I brought with me to Vietnam really gets you awake Another thing that you must always remember with uh, any AI in itself, no matter if it, whether or not it's the Ripplet agent, ChatGPT, Claude, always say please, always say please. You never know. You never know when AI is gonna become sentient and cyborgs are gonna be chasing after you and then they'll click and remember, hey, he said please to me. All right, next, next attempt. Uh, if it ever says hmm, we can't reach uh, your website just uh, refresh the page it might be because the agent is working on things once you deploy something you know you'll be fine but look at this we've got our blog if we navigate here it's a very basic blog very basic but it's a blog nonetheless uh, if we come to our what was it i believe mm, if we go home oh it's our portfolio so if we go here let's see if we can get to our portfolio page beautiful look at that we've got a portfolio page it's pretty and I, yeah, I guess this would take you to the live project this is pretty small it's pretty uh, basic but it's a really good stepping stone you know in pretty much 20 minutes we've created the baseline for a website 
And all we really need to do now is edit the content. You know, this is, this is a fully functioning site that works well, just filling in the dots. Um, it's pretty amazing how quick and how, how well we can build these things uh, with, with AI and <laughs> how little time it takes, how little money it takes. If you want to get access to this template, follow the link in the description, reach out to me if you have any questions or leave a comment if you liked anything or want to see what we can build next time. But until I see you guys again, thank you for watching.